Instagram can bring you tons of extra sales to your Etsy shop. So let's talk about it. What's up Etsy sellers? My name is Dave and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do new videos all the time on Etsy success. So in this video, I want to talk about Etsy using Instagram to bring more sales to your Etsy shop and uh, go over some basics as a, an Instagram user as well as an Etsy shop owner. So uh, first I want to explain how the Etsy or the Instagram algorithm works um, because a lot of people, you know, have seen a lot of engagement drop recently, uh, the beginning of the year and continuing throughout the year. Instagram recently changed their algorithm to weight it more towards engagement. So uh, back in the day, Instagram used to show you posts in a chronological order, which was great or it could be bad depending on how you look at it. But now it's showing you posts based on the most engaged posts. So that's why you may see a post from like two days ago show up number one in your feed. It's because tons of people are engaging with it and a lot of people are commenting and liking on it. So how it works is when you post a photo, Instagram shows that post to a percentage of your followers. And based off of the engagement on that one post, it will be shown to another percentage of your followers. So let's say you make a post and it's a really great photo and you prompt people to comment on it and like it or even tag some friends. Tons of people are liking, tons of people are commenting and Instagram sees that all of that engagement and then shows it to even more of your following. Then it happens again and it snowballs. That's how big posts turn to big posts. If you post just like a, a photo of your product sitting on your kitchen table bad lighting, bad everything, bad caption, barely any hashtags, right? This isn't going to get a lot of engagement. People aren't going to see that and be like, that is so awesome. Your kitchen table looks great. You know, that's not, that's not going to get a lot of engagement and therefore won't be shown to a lot of your followers. So this is how the Instagram algorithm works nowadays. It's all based off of engagement. So that's why you see a lot of people prompting to get someone to comment on their posts or tag friends, etc. Same goes for Facebook. So that's why you see that tactic across all platforms, tag a friend, etc. So the main thing to keep in mind here is to post really captivating photos, the highest quality you can, really good lighting if you're posting photos of your products or if you're reposting, you know, make sure it's something that's been engaged with on whatever page you're po reposting it from. Uh, and that's how you can get more likes and comments on the post to be shown to more of your followers, right? So the next thing I want to talk about when it comes to using Instagram for your Etsy shop is uh, keeping in mind that it's a social media website. Um, in the past, I used to think that it was just another opportunity to push my products on everyone who follows me. So we'd post product after product after product after product, nothing but products, and we would just be pushing and pushing it so hard. Uh, it wasn't until we realized that Instagram is a social media platform, so you need to be social on it. You need to engage with your community. You don't post photos of your products nonstop. For example, some brands out there, like the biggest brands we all know of, some of their Instagram accounts don't post a single product which is mind blowing to most of us, but they're just there to have a presence on Instagram. You know about the, the brand already, so they're just there to have a social presence. So keep this in mind, don't nonstop post your photos and push your photos because your followers will get sick of that. You want to create a wide variety. So uh, I always use handmade soap as a huge example. Um, so let's say you sell handmade soap, you have an Instagram for handmade soap, right? You're not going to post a photo of your soap every single day and just say, Hey, go buy my soap. Hey, go, Hey, go buy my soap. People will definitely get sick of that. You'll get unfollowed. You probably won't get many followers to begin with. So what you can do is post cool photos of like fields of the herbs that are in your soap, right? A really captivating post, maybe a repost from another page that has a really cool photo of some lavender or something, really cool lavender fields and stuff if you have lavender soap. So you can post things that are within your niche that get a lot of engagement 
to make people like your product more. Like, wow, wow, that's lavender. Lavender is so beautiful. I know the smell of it. It smells so good. Oh yeah, these people sell lavender soap. Great, I'm gonna go buy some. So you get the point. Keep it a social presence rather than a marketing. And well, it's all marketing, but rather than like a sour, I like to call it a sour approach, you know, if you're just always posting your products. So those are my first two tips in this video series. This is part one. There'll be a few after this. So be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Also check the link in the description below for my Instagram Etsy on steroids playbook. Everything I've used myself to, you know, leverage my Etsy shop to sell way more things within Etsy and bring more people from outside of Etsy. The book is in the description. If you sign up for my email list, you get a coupon code immediately. So be sure to check the description and watch out for the next video. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Peace out.